So with Hogwarts Legacy being around that 85 gigabytes uh, in size, it's quite important to many, many players that you can preload the game uh, prior to release. This saves a lot of hassle on that release day uh, because obviously servers are going to be absolutely jammed when everybody's trying to download it at the same time. So being able to preload it so you're ready to go on release day is a must for many, many players. Well guys, PC players today, I bring you some bad, bad news. It seems as though you will not be able to pre-install, pre-load Hogwarts Legacy. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So yes, Hogwarts Legacy is estimated to be around 85 gigabytes in size, so it's pretty big. And with a game this size, it's very important to players to be able to pre-install, pre-load the game ahead of release. Now, information that hit the internet a couple of days back now, actually from Reddit, uh, showcases a user who got in contact with Warner Brothers Games customer service and they made it clear they would have to wait until the game's launch or that early access launch to install the game. So you would not be able to pre-install this game, which is absolutely massive in regards to a letdown for you PC players. Now, I know what it's like downloading games off Steam. I know what it's like downloading games off Epic Games. And it's slower than it should be on a normal day. On release date for this game, even if you buy that deluxe edition, that digital deluxe edition, it's still going to be one heck of a download for you, no matter how quick your internet is. And not being able to pre-install the game is a massive letdown in my opinion. I mean, I was going to buy it. Well, to be honest, I was thinking either Xbox Series X or PC. This has made my mind up. I think I'm going to buy the game now on the Xbox Series X just so I can pre-install the game. Just to make life a lot easier on release day. So I haven't got to worry about anything else. And there's also going to be, guys, a day one patch too. So you got to remember that. I'm not sure how big that will be. But whatever it is, it's going to be on top of that 85 gigabytes. So it's going to be quite a wait for some players. Especially players without that fast internet. 85 gigabyte, again, like I said, is a massive chunk of space. I personally got a pal who's got quite a slow internet connection because he lives out in the sticks within the UK. So he's I think in his area the max he can get is like 20 megabytes download speed so him trying to download this on that release date it's going to take him probably until it launches for the nintendo switch for him to get it installed on his pc that's absolutely ridiculous so yes guys i apologize for being a bearer of bad news if you're a pc player but again it seems as though there will not be a preload function available for steam and epic games now there's a couple of sources of where this information has come from i'll link them both down below within that video description if you do want to check them out for yourselves guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one.